So <laughs> please don't write me out of the will. Aww. She said, okay. No, he adores his grandmother, but he had to make the best decision for his well-being. Yeah. And, have we ever talked and his recording career, yeah. And have we ever talked about if they get divorced, can he go back into the family? He can go back anytime he wants. Okay. But <laughs> I don't think he'll be welcomed with open arms by the people of the UK. I think they pretty much hate that couple right now. They're, they feel Even very if the betrayed. Even split and he came home. I don't know. He won't get divorced. Royals don't. Yeah, they do get divorced, yeah, don't they? they do. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they do. <laughs> they, they, they're just like us. Right. With a lot more power and money. I do think I was wrong on a few things. What? what? Uh, uh. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was blaming Meghan Markle for most of this. I thought she was some Which thirsty. Which always happens. Thirsty American actress. No, I was just playing her because I think she has a lot of Kardashian in her. And I thought she was a thirsty American actress who wanted, and I still do to some degree, wanted to be Get extra to the famous. Apology. Well, I think Harry's, Harry might be crazier than her. Harry might be more to blame than her on this whole thing. I thought she was dragging him a lot. I thought she was Yoko Ono breaking yeah. up the Beatles and dragging him out of the royal family to America until I saw him in the recording studio with John Bon Jovi. And I'm like, oh, he's the jerk. Have we, have we forgotten that he's always been the party animal? Yes, we have forgotten that. He played strip poker in Vegas. We and forgot that. Really, that he dressed up as a Nazi for Halloween. We forgot that. Yeah, that he dated bluesies. Well, he supposedly, no, he seemed to mature the last few years. Yeah. And he stopped doing that. So I gave him credit and thought she's just dragging him away. You know what? I blame him now. I blame him. I think she was just the hot girl that was there for the taking. And I'll go along with all of it. If I were her, I'd do the same damn thing. Let's go to America. You want to be a recording artist? Let's go to America, you <laughs> dumb ginger, and get in the studio and start singing. All right, anyway. Wow. <sighs> Sophie Turner says that she hated the Jonas Brothers before she married Joe. We're not going down that road again. Okay. <laughs> we had some expert commentary uh, earlier today. We'll just leave it alone. <laughs> However, on the podcast, I'd look up that celebrity news from exactly 7.30. <laughs> Steve Wozniak, one of the co-founders of Apple, says that he thinks he might be patient zero for the coronavirus in the U.S. He says he was in China. He did not feel well when he came back. He thinks he brought corona to the U.S. Like, he's, like that's a badge of honor. Don't think, man. That's how yeah. desperate like a really rich guy is. Like, hey, I'm killing everyone. It's me. <laughs> yeah, get over yourself, dude. No one cares. Ariana Grande is single. She says she has stopped dating Mikey Foster. Yeah. All right. We she never, she, she never flaunted her romance, except with Pete Davidson. Anyway, yeah. no one really knows after that. It kind of ruined it. No one cared after that. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's like everyone cares who Taylor Swift dates, right, McKinley? Yeah. Nobody cares who Ariana Grande dates because she's been well, through all these weirdos. There's yeah. a cone of secrecy around Taylor's romance. There is. That makes it more and that makes it more interesting and mysterious. Yes. I yeah. mean, Ariana. That's true. Her and Pete would take off their clothes in front of you if you asked. Uh, I, you're exactly right. Mike Tyson's out doing interviews and talking and posting stuff on Twitter. Yes. Here he is saying that he used to be the annihilator in the old days and he kind of misses that. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. He's crying. And now those days That's are gone. Wrong. It's empty. He's I'm crying. nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss him. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. I don't want that person to come out, because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool. Like I'm a tough guy. It's just that. This sounds scary AF, doesn't he? <laughs> yes. Well, because so all you hear is his voice. If you were to see him cry and break down, he's making a major admission. Your you know. impersonation is spot on. I didn't yeah, know it was so close. Well, he misses the annihilator. He I, can, I don't want to <laughs> 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 Yeah. I mean, his life has been fascinating, depressing, yeah. angering, and joyous all at once. He's a fascinating individual. He's also done serious jail time for serious wrongs, but <laughs> if there's ever a guy that's... He just wants to beat some math, Dave. What? I'm sorry, Mike. He just wants to beat some math. I remember people asking me, which one of the Jonas Brothers is the gay one? I can never quite figure it out. I miss, I miss being able to talk to Kevin and have these long conversations that last at the end of the night. <laughs> we talk about everything from quilting to scrapbooking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Courtney Stodden, remember her? She was like 16 oh, yeah. and married a 50-year-old. Yeah. 
she has been she's officially divorced from Doug Hutchinson. Nobody knows him except he was the bad guy in Green, Green Mile. Mile. Yeah, that's about it. it. Lasted a while. Sesame Street's going to make a movie, a live action movie. Chance the Rapper will play one of the characters. No, I think he's going to be in it. No, it says Chance ain't going to be like Big Bird. He might. It says Big Bird with a big three hat on. One of the live (laughs) action characters will be played by Chance the Rapper. Oh. Okay. So, Rebel Wilson, how about this, Aaron? You're a Disney person to a degree, right? Yeah. She went to Disneyland for her. She's 40. Can you believe that? No. I thought she was younger than we thought. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, she took her friends. They did a sleepover. They shut down Disneyland, let her sleep Mm. over. They gave them all uh, electric wheelchairs, let them tool through the Magic Kingdom at 2 a.m., do whatever they wanted. During the day, they rode whatever rides they wanted and skipped right to the front of the lines. I'd be screaming at her. Fat Amy, get in line like everybody else. (laughs) But that's just No, you wouldn't because you'd be trying to figure out what's going on that they're jipping the line. Yeah, how did they do it? How can I do it? Yes. And I'd be trying to take pictures. Yes. Um... Jessica Biel was seen wearing her wedding wedding ring again. She post she knows it, man. As soon as everyone saw her without the wedding ring and it became a news story, she started she posted pictures with her and Justin celebrating his birthday and she was wearing the ring, just to let people know. And Pharrell is selling his Beverly Hills mansion $17 million. Woo! Wow. 17,000 square feet, 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms. Not bad. It's only on four acres, though. Which is a lot, it's but only? seven <laughs> for seventeen million dollars. No, all I'm saying is, considering the the real estate he's around, every I square know. inch is extremely expensive, and they find a parcel that big. In uh, our again, world, it's, it's a world, yeah, it's it's a world I can't understand. Yeah. Thank you. I also don't know what it's like to be powerful and uh, famous enough that you can single handedly ask <laughs> Disney to shut the damn park down for oh you. Oh my gosh, I, I know. know. That is she that big of a deal that would do that? She well, must have something in the works with them. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. she's doing something with them. And it's, I think they probably pay a little bit too to get access, like to get to the front of the Do they do that, Ashley? Stuff. You yeah. worked at yeah, Disney. You can't yeah, there's a, a guest relations person will take you around. It's an entire tour thing. Just if you have a. If yeah, but how about sleeping money, overnight and sh- Sleeping overnight, that sounds, I don't know. Celebrity. Like, yeah, that sounds celebrity. But you th- there's a Disneyland hotel. If you punch the magic ticket, can't your uh, kids sleep in Cinderella's castle? If you get, it's it's like when they're granting magical wishes okay. that they do like every year. Because that's not something you can just, just do they have bedrooms in there? there? There's, a, there's one room. They made a little teeny yeah. one up uh, on top. Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's Disney World, not Disneyland. Oh, thanks for clarifying. I ain't going to Disneyland. <laughs> go to Disney World. Disneyland's like, eh, and California. This is David Jimmy.